Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am Chadel Mather, if you don't know who I am. I create natural hair and lifestyle content. And this one will be a natural hair video. If you've been with me for a little while, or perhaps this is what brought you to my channel, I would have issued a quarantine and beyond natural hair challenge. And this hair challenge featured two of my faves for hair growth and for stimulation of dormant areas. And these are my onion juice hair mixture as well as my cayenne hair oil. And I put these together with a few other rules to form the quarantine and beyond hair challenge. If you want to know more about that hair challenge, you can check it out right here in the cart as well as my individual video on how to make my onion juice mixture and my other individual video on how to make my cayenne oil hair mix. But before we get into the demonstration, I would love to know where you guys are on your journey. Did you begin the challenge? Have you continued the challenge? This week should be the end date for most of you guys who did the challenge because it would be the three month mark after I issued the challenge. So let me know down below whether you completed the challenge. And I would also love to know whether you'll be continuing with any of these mixtures after the challenge period. Let me know down below. And let me just give you guys a brief view of my edges. They are definitely coming in a lot fuller than when I began the challenge. And I am definitely seeing a marked improvement. I am going to be continuing, not necessarily with the challenge, but I'm definitely going to be continuing on with my use of onion juice, as well as my use of the cayenne hair oil. You can also tag me in your progress pictures on Instagram. I would love to see your progress. So pretty much you're going to see my natural hair routine because this demonstration follows the structure of my typical natural hair wash day. However, I have incorporated the elements of the quarantine and beyond hair challenge into this video. And, uh... your hair for a little bit I am also using cayenne hair oil so I applied my cayenne oil directly after applying my onion juice into my hair you can also use a little bit of water to spritz your hair depending on how dry your hair is at the point in time because it is never wise to manipulate super dry hair so you can spritz just a little bit of water add in your onion juice and your cayenne hair oil as you see me doing <laughs> Distract me when I'm trying to focus Cause I can get you out of my head My head, baby Don't know how to deal with this feeling In this video, I must also note that I show you two different methods for deep conditioning if you're doing the challenge So you can deep condition at this point which I demonstrated in the video I would have added my deep conditioner into my hair after applying my onion juice and my cayenne hair oil so, and then I put on my bag on my head and I leave it for 30 minutes Can't stop falling for you. Can't stop falling for you. 
down falling for you babe you're all i want so my next step is shampooing i use a shampoo guys i do not co-wash there are great benefits for shampooing your hair the removal of buildup is super 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 important and so i always recommend that you use a proper cleanser if you want to use a co-wash in between washes then that's fine but it is necessary to use a proper cleanser recipe video it is wise to do your onion juice step before shampooing so that you can remove the scent of the onion juice as your wash day continues the rinse out conditioner is a great way to put back some moisture into your hair and it also helps you with maneuvering and manipulating your hair because your shampoo may have taken out some of that moisture and it also helps with detangling so at this point, I put in my rinse out conditioner and I finger detangle. Because my hair was super tangled that day, and I had not done a super thorough detangling for about a month, I decided to go in with my brush, my color brush. Again, I have a review on this brush, so you can check it up here, so you can know what I think about this brush, but let me just tell you guys, it is A awesome, I still think so. So I went in with this brush and I did a very thorough detangling. So at this point, you can decide you're going to deep condition. I would have filmed this video on two separate wash days and so I was able to show you both of my deep conditioning options. And my favorite deep conditioning option is actually to deep condition after I've shampooed. However, if I am running late and I am pressed for time, I would deep condition before because it would mean that I'm only doing one deep conditioning session with all my important ingredients. So either one can work. There are also benefits to deep conditioning after you've shampooed because it can infuse your strands with some more moisture. So it's something to consider. You can try either one of them and see which one works for you. And then I rinse out my deep conditioner. Epi, that's it? Not really. Uh, so after I rinse out my deep conditioner, I go in with my t-shirt to dry up my hair. 
and then it is super important that I do my post wash moisture routine and that for me is any one of the layering methods it whether it be the curly girl method whether it be the log method whether it be the lock method or whether it is the LCO method in this video I show you that I'm adding my leave-in conditioner and I am also adding some shea butter mix to seal in that moisture and you see me twisting my hair because stretching is super important and when I say stretching I must emphasize that I don't mean heat stretching and neither do I mean any elaborate stretching you can go in with a roller set but simple twist with some degree of tension would be sufficient you can also put in braids but they take a little longer to dry and so if you pressed for time twist may be your best option for me I put in twist on that day but I use a variety of stretching methods at the end of the day stretching is just super important to prevent tangling and guys that is pretty much my wash routine super super quick I typically wash my hair within 45 minutes and I don't have the elaborate wash days that you guys seem to speak about when I'm on social media about taking a whole day 45 minutes and I am done an hour for the most If you have any requests, let me know in the comment section as well. And don't forget to like my video. Don't forget to share my video with a friend. And of course, I would love if you subscribe because we're trying to grow this channel to 10,000 by December, God willing. My crown's so heavy, better help me carry. My crown's so heavy, better help me carry. My crown's so heavy, crown's so heavy. My crown's so heavy.